Hey again, welcome to another video in the kata series that I've been doing. Uh, this is mainly for people stuck inside during COVID-19. This is uh, kata video 6, brought to you in the middle of a spare the air, bad air day caused by wildfires, caused by bizarre lightning and thunder, brought on by a heat wave, uh, and in the middle of a pandemic, um, that's California, August 2020. So if there was even more reason to not go outside, uh, I got one now. So here's a little video on two katas um, that are actually, for, I think, fairly common in Taiko. And so first I'm going to talk about them, then I'll do a little demo on my faux taiko here, because remember you don't need a taiko. And then I'll give you a little exercise of how you can maybe combine the two of them together. All right, so kata one, right? I think of this kata as a diagonal kind of motion. And to get this kata to look nice, you want a diagonal line that starts from the tip of your bocce, so my right hand, right? down through my body to the tip of my bocce on my left hand and then with my left hand sort of um, matching my leg right also sort of diagonal okay so that's the basic look and then of course we were we're going to do kagami right i like to to switch things around and do them reverse position so one little trick to this um has has to do with a lot of uh alignment of your bocce and how you can get a straighter line. Um, do not fist grip and crush your bocce with your hands when you're doing this. You gotta have a loose grip and when you bring your hand out if you can get your knuckle of your index finger sort of up, right? Uh, which means you're gonna have to kind of roll your wrist over if you do that, you'll find that one little thing will get you a much nicer kata, okay? So that's kata one. Kata two is crossing your bocce in front of you and then opening out to a sort of X position, right? So it's this motion, right? And when I'm describing this to beginners, um, I tell them, think about this, think about, you know, you've got two heavy things, like two heavy curtains or two heavy ropes, and you're, you're having to th throw them apart, right? So you get this kind of look in doing that, right? So that's what you're sort of trying to get visually with this motion. So when you cross your hands in front of yourself, you know, you can have your bocce facing, the tips facing away. Turn your hands around, right? Your bocce around, open out, and then flick your bocce as you extend with both hands. Knuckle up, get you a nice straight kata, okay? All right, so here's my, my faux kata, I mean my faux taiko, <laughs> beta uchi, right? Could be a pillow, this could be anything, you could be doing this on your bed, doesn't matter really. You just have to have something you can hit. Alright, so the first kata with my right hand, my dong beat, right, would be like this kind of motion, right? It's my dong beat, right? A dong, and then can let a rest in, right? Think of that as a rest, right? And then a rest, okay? Trying to get that diagonal, trying to get that wrist turned, right? Trying to match my leg on my left hand, right? Turning that around this way, right? Matching that motion in the opposite direction, right? So everything I'm trying to execute with my right hand, I'm trying to execute as close as possible with my left when I play Kagami. Okay, one other thing I always point out to people when you're doing these kinds of really movement-based hitting on the Taiko, right? 
the the first thing to do is you know practice slowly it's not about speed and it's not about powering into the taiko it's about being relaxed it's about being consistent it's about feeling that internalizing that motion so you can then you can speed it up then you can worry about the other the other things that make your playing better um, focus on your beat being in the middle or the hata of the taiko okay so that's really important if you want to put something down some sort of marker put some tape or a you know some outline of something to mark where the hata the middle of the taiko would be so that you can see if you're hitting there that might be a good idea right just to keep your focus on hitting in the in the middle of the hata of the taiko okay kata two right if you think about doing a like a dodo beat and then coming out right and then you're doing your big motion crossing and uncrossing right that that kind of ending up like an x right you could do a dawn and a calm beat and then come out right right open up okay those are the two kata okay Here's a little exercise on how you could combine the two of them, make it into a sort of a drill to practice. See how you can manage putting these things together, okay? So you're gonna start with the right hand dom diagonal, one, dom, two, dom, three, dom, four, sol, right? And then you're gonna do Calm one, calm two, calm three, so right back to dawn. One, two, three, four, and then so right, right? One, two, three, four. So right, right? One, two, three, four, so right. One, two, three, four, so right. Okay, so that's a little exercise just to get you kind of into it. Um, practice that till you feel like you can internalize those motions, get a feeling for it. Try to speed it up a little bit. And then as always, my recommendation is take that, play around with it, have fun, ad lib it, see where you can throw it into a solo pattern, that kind of thing, okay? There you go. Two more katas to add to your playing. And uh, you know, something to do in the age of COVID-19. And I will see you for video seven.